Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Morning everyone, so here we are on the 23 of February 2020 and we will review the trade of the profiles that I published uh, around the 15th February. So let me unzip the profile on your screen right now and all the profile is the T profile, T odd to T USD. Now let's go on MetaTrader 4. So I will review all the profile including the free forecast of last week. So let's start with uh, odd USD. So price starts at my vertical line. So only one level touch on odd USD. And we have a doji broken up. So this is a setup. And it made only one reward. So this is a losing trade. Odd CAD no trade. Now let me check. Yeah, I am on the right profile. T odd. So odd CAD, there is no trade. Odd CHF. So odd CHF, what do we get? We got this doji didn't broke up, so there is no trade first, but there is second doji broken up, so there is one loss here too. And that's it for this week. Let's check odd New Zealand, no trade. Odd GPY, near the level, but no trade. Odd Singapore, odd Singapore, we have a trade, we have a nice railroad track right here. Eventually, retracement entry or breakout entry, it's triggered and not finished yet. So the trade is running with around one reward at the moment. So I don't count any trade here. Euro odd. Euro odd, euro odd. So there was a trade from last week. We took it. And the result was not yet done. So I didn't count it last week. But this trade was also a signal with this specific pin bar. Entry in the middle. And this one is a winning trade from last week. That's the first win. After, what do we get? We get this level a doji didn't break down but the second doji broke down so we have one losing trade and at the moment we have one trade right here this is a railroad track it did validate because the candle made nearly all the way down retracement entry stop loss above the high right here and it's running with around 0 0.6 profit i don't count it so i would just count one loss on this chart more now let's look at GBP odd. GBP odd trade from last week but already computed. So there is no trade this week. Now let's look on CAD CHF and metal pair. So let's start with CAD <coughs> CHF. CAD CHF with a very nice pin bar at the level and the retracement entry triggered obviously and this is a huge win. It made more than six, seven reward right here. So that's one win more. And just for you to know, with only two wins and four losses, we are already in profit with this profile. So CAD GPY, we have a very big move on GPY and there is no pattern forming at this and this level, so there is no trade. CHF GPY, a very beautiful trade, as you can see. So what happened? We have uh, a hammer right here, didn't broker, but we have a doji right here broken up. So this trade uh, made, uh, let me check, stop loss is right here, 14 pips and it made only 20. So this trade is a losing trade. But once this trade loss, we have a beautiful railroad track, retracement entry right here. And this trade, no need to say for you, but it made like maybe 10 or 15 reward already. 17 pips stop loss and it made 240. So it is more than 15 reward on this trade. So we have one loss and one win. And I just count only three reward on every trade that I win. So just for you to show the potential. CHF, Singapore, we don't have any level touch. Singapore, JPY, we have a very nice trade. So what do we get? We got this doji big didn't broke up and we have a little doji broken up. This one is a beautiful win trade. After, we have a pin bar right here. Entry eventually at the retracement or at the breakout and this trade was a win too. So we have two winning trades on this chart. I implemented the trend on the specific profile and analysis and I believe it pay out. 
we will see the total result for one week but might be very good gold gold we have one level touch and eventually one loss right here yeah, this doji broken down a little bit but for me it didn't trigger but i just count it in worst case scenario and after we have this hammer didn't trigger going down so we don't have any trade we have only one loss that's what i mean to count the worst case scenario let's look at silver usd didn't touch any level silver euro didn't touch any level either now let's look at euro pair so euro usd what happened we are in a trade from my signal and i we get one loss also there so using the swing trading strategy what do we get we get this doji didn't broke up so there is no trade after we have a railroad track and this railroad track trigger with the stop loss just below here but this stop loss might have been triggered by this candle or by this candle so all in all i can count worst case scenario one loss right here the second is a very nice pin bar also one loss and finally we have a third trade right here that recover everything and this is a winning trade still running so i count two losses and one win on this chart euro cad uh, beautiful trade also so euro cad was less messy it made the doji broken up right here stop loss right here and this one made i believe two reward tech 76 and stop loss is 40 no it nearly made two reward but didn't yet so after that what do we get if you miss the doji broken up right here you have another opportunity to take this engulfing bullish candle and retrace one entry in the middle stop loss right here and this retrace one entry is a winning trade so worst case scenario uh you know that you are around two reward right now but i don't count any trade on this chart so it's outside of my account now we are on euro chf euro chf we have a very beautiful trade so this was last week but the profile was published uh, on wednesday last week so this trade is valid to count so we have a pin bar right here and this pin bar broken up or retracement this one is a winning trade so i count this trade of course then price retested the level and made an angle thing right here so retracement entry of this angle thing right here stop loss right here and it's a very tight trade only six pips stop loss and it made 20 pips so this it's already a winning trade uh, I count only one on this chart, but I just show you, you have two opportunities to win. You have already two wins on this level, on this chart. And uh, since it's a monthly, yellow monthly level, I believe the price will continue to go up, but still have to see that. We already win two trades anyway on this chart. And I count only one. Euro New Zealand. So, Euro New Zealand, what do we get? We got this pin bar from last week just after I publish the profile and this triggers the retracement entry and it's a huge win. After that, we have this pin bar right here and this one is a losing trade. And after we have a railroad track right here, retracement entry, and this one is a two reward right now. So I don't count it. So what I count is one win here and one loss here. Worst case scenario. Now let's look at Euro JPY. Okay, Euro JPY, what happened? I missed the level on your GPY and I realized after, just for the explanation, that this level where price reverse, I will place a line right here, a blue line. And if we look on the monthly chart and we zoom in a little bit, you will see that you have a very nice support level on the monthly chart. That is why the price took off very violently from there. But I, f I did, I missed totally this level. So there was no trade at this level and what about the other one so what happened first level no no trade no trade and third level uh doji didn't broke down and this one is more doji didn't broke down either so there is no trade right here and eventually when this level is broken with this very strong move going up you could have taken this pin bar which is at the 800 moving average on the four hour chart it's a powerful ema so this might continue to go up for a while, but there is no trade to count since no valid pattern. I just show you the possibility of the last one. Euro Singapore. So Euro Singapore. Euro Singapore reversed just before the level, so there was no possibility to enter. And after it made this long spike during the news, so I wouldn't have taken any of this specific one. And after that, um, this one doesn't qualify as a pin bar because the pin doesn't exceed more than 50% of the candle. So I don't take this trade. 
and this hammer would have been a broken down trade it didn't trigger and after the price make a big candle going up so we will see beginning of next week what will happen at this specific level but uh, for this specific trade let me check the monthly chart yeah we have a very nice pin bar so the strength might be going up for a while a bit more so i will not be too much confident to take this trade for me this trade i will not take it anymore next week so there is no trade to count on this specific chart now euro hong kong euro hong kong we have a beautiful setup doji didn't break out and railroad track triggered the middle the stop loss on this chart didn't trigger at any moment and it made more than six reward already so we have one winning trade on this chart euronok so euronok euronok what happened let me check we have a, a railroad track right here and since the profile was published at this vertical line i might count this trade uh, maybe a break even because it retraced half of the candle so stop loss would have been Stop loss around 123 and it made 250. So it made two rewards. So this is a break even trade. There is nothing to count. After this one, there is this doji exactly at the level broken up. So this trade is a winning trade. So one win. And after there is this nice pin bar, the round number closest to the 800 EMA, but I don't count it. So worst case scenario, I count one trade as a winning. And for the next level, uh, armor didn't break down. This is a pin bar sorry this is a pin bar right here and the doji is quite far but you could have taken this trade eventually and it's a winning trade also just to make sure i will just count one win out of two win as i said worst case scenario now let's look at euro zar okay rosa it's it was a very nice trade so from last week we have a doji broken up okay, this one is a winning trade and we have a second opportunity with ingolfing retrace one entry to enter again and we have a third potential re-entry here with this pin bar and all those trades are winning so I just count one but it's a three times opportunity to win the trade now let's look at euro sec okay euro sec what happened so euro sec was a beautiful so I publish my profile at this vertical line and you can see we have an angle thing right here so if you take the breakout of the angle thing you take two reward and it's obviously a winning trade and didn't reach the retracement anyway but it's a beautiful trade right here and after in the opposite direction we have actually we have nothing because this hammer didn't break down the second didn't break down so we have no trade here and after this one doesn't qualify exactly as a railroad track so maximum you could eventually have entered at this candlestick breakout and it's a very wide candlestick so i wouldn't have risked it or only one reward one reward 0.5 and it's a winning trade so out of this winning trade and this winning trade i will count only one as I said, worst case scenario. Now let's look at GBP pairs. GBP USD, nothing. The GBP CHF, nothing. GBP CAD, the same. GBP CAD, as you can see, broke the swing level going down. So now we start a daily downtrend. GBP JPY didn't touch the level. GBP New Zealand, same. GBP Singapore. GBP Singapore, we have a nice trade, I believe. Yeah, oh, what a beautiful setup. So you can see on my yellow line, made the doji broken up of the doji, and this one is a huge win, definitely. So one win on this chart. Euro GBP. Euro GBP. So we have uh, first trade started right here. Doji didn't break down. Second doji, very tight stop loss, uh, eventually right here. And this one is a winning trade. So first winning trade. After that, there is another winning trade right here. And after that, finally, there is a tac tac tac. No, not really. This railroad track is too little for me. I wouldn't have taken it. And this is not really qualified as a railroad track. So there is only two winning trades, and I count only one on this line. Okay, GBP try. What a shame. It didn't touch the level and made a railroad track right here after a specific pin bar, but didn't touch the level. Tac. GBP sec. GBP sec, we have a beautiful full railroad track right here breakout or even a bit retracement but didn't totally happen so breakout trade and this one is a winning so one win on this chart gbp knock uh, no trade now let's look at new zealand okay sec gpy what do we get sec gpy doji right here didn't break down so no trade after 
Doji up and down, it's too big, no entry right here. And after a pin bar, and eventually this pin bar could have been taken. But since it didn't make two reward right now, I don't count this trade. But there was one opportunity on this chart. Knock GPY. Okay, what do we got? So we got eventually railroad track, but as I said, this railroad track is too little for me, I don't take it. But I will count it as a loss, worst case scenario. And after that, we have the price of this doji broken down. So we will check this one more in detail to see what happened to the price and if the price broke up before or after. And I think this one didn't trigger the stop loss. So our stop loss would have been right here. And I just placed my stop loss here so we can verify. Let's look on the one hour chart. Okay, so what happened to the price? Price made this four hour doji going at the top of the doji right here and the bottom of the doji right here. Then it break up before breaking down. So the trigger of our trade is right here. The stop loss would have been right here all the way and it didn't trigger the stop loss. And it made obviously two rewards, so it's another winning trade. So this trade is a good winning trade as a sell on this very nice level. Okay, NZD JPY, no trade. NZD CHF, no trade. NZD CAD, what do we get? So NZD CAD, we have a nice pin bar, retracement entry, and this one is a losing trade. After we have an angle thing, and it's a losing trade also, I count two losing trades. And after we have a doji right here breaking up, so we have a trade running. So I just count two loss right here, but I will not count the winning, which is running right now. So NZD USD, NZD USD. So at the level, we have this candle that breaks the level, so there is nothing to do. I can count eventually because you have a pin bar right here and a doji broken up. So we'll count one losing trade right here. After, what do we get? So we get this little doji broken up. So another losing trade. And that's all we count. So we'll count two losing trade. And it's really, really worst case scenario right here. Okay, so we are on USD knock. USD knock, what do we get? We got a doji right here broken down. So this trade is a losing trade. And that's the only trade on the level of the week. And after we have USD CNH, no trade. The USD MXN, Mexican peso. So we weren't lucky. USD MXN didn't touch my level. It was a round number and a very nice level. And fly all the way up. So here, no pattern. Here, Doji didn't break down. So <clears throat> no pattern. And the last one, it's a huge pin bar. And I would have entered eventually retracement entry right here, stop loss right here. And this is a winning trade, actually. Uh, and if you want to make sure you have a losing trade right here, if you would have taken this as a pin bar, which is not because the pin bar is not so much important compared to the body. Personally, I would not have entered this specific candlestick, but the next one will. Yeah, I would have entered it. Also because there is an 800 EMA on the 4-hour chart. So I count one loss and one win there. Okay, USD. HUF, no trade. USD, such. What happened there? Okay, so let's start from the left side. No trade right here. And after we have a pin bar right here, so it's a losing trade. And after price break it, so one loss only. USD, Danish Krona. What do we get? So we get a very nice pin bar here, retracement entry. And actually, I will zoom in because it's a very tight pattern. Retracement entry is right here. Stop loss would have been around 50 pips and it made 170 pips. So this one is actually a winning trade. Entry right here, stop loss right here and target profit met. So one win on USD Danish Krona. USD Polonia. Okay, what do we got? So we got a pin bar right here and this pin bar uh, retracement entry triggered. Stop loss right here and it made two rewards. So let me check how many rewards we have got there. Uh, let's say 60 pip stop loss and it made 125 so it's a it's a break-even trade right here so no win no loss after we have eventually this doji broken down so i will count worst case scenario one loss so one loss only on this chart now usd czar no line touch usd singapore a huge breakout up i count worst case scenario because there is a doji right here and this doji broken down but it's so much tight doji that it didn't work out. But the risk reward would have been awesome if you use this specific type of candlestick. So I count one losing trade, worst case scenario. Okay, USD CHF uh, didn't touch the line reverse just before. 
and I just tell you it reverses because there is a 200 EMA right here and there is a 800 EMA right here. So from both those EMA price made an attempt just touch a little the 200 and after a drop down. It was a good trade but didn't touch my level. So USD JPY. Okay, what do we get here? Touch only one level. But well, every trend were going up, so it was obvious that the price will fly up. That's exactly what it did. There's the first level, make a pin bar, retracement entry triggered, and this is a losing trade. It was a counter trend trade. And after what we get? This doji broken down. So same, I will just check because I think the stop loss didn't hit. So I place my horizontal line right here, and we'll check the one hour chart. And the stop loss would have been my blue line above right here. Let's look what happened. Exactly, that's it. So the stop loss is right here. If you take the doji as first entry, stop loss is right here. The entry price went up, broke, but the trade was not triggered yet when it broke up. And after it triggered right here from this specific point. And after it never retouched the stop loss. And it's, uh, I think, two reward. We'll check on the four hour chart. Maybe not yet. Maybe one reward only now. So there is nothing to count. It's still running with one reward, right? So no one loss and no win. The loss is already counted on my paper. USD CAD didn't touch the level and start to go up. It's again the 200 EMA, so might fly up from there. And that's it for all the profile. So total account. We have 17 winning trades and 18 losing trades. And there is three reward on each winning trade, which means we have 51 reward minus 18 losing risk which makes 33 reward profit if you multiply this by two percent of course it gives 66 percent profit of your account in one week using my analysis so i hope you took advantage of it and uh, while i'm here i have also good news uh, from next week everything will be alerted on telegram with a screenshot on the chart so you will be able to see which level is ready to take for the envelope strategy and for the swing trading strategy. So I wish you success and see you all next week. Bye everyone. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous students. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.